has won It's the loneliest number since number one girl No is the saddest experience you'll ever know Yes, it's the saddest experience you'll ever know Cause one is the loneliest number that you will ever do One is the loneliest number, much, much worse than two It's just no good anymore since you went away, yeah Now I spend my time making rhymes of yesterday My 
Jesus gonna be here, yeah, he's gonna be here soon. Give it a minute still. Silly and crazy. Silly and crazy, you think so? Okay, now, uh, this song has been banned on the radio, and it, it was written by a children's poet by the name of uh, Shel Silverstein, but uh, I'm not going to uh, offer any censorship on the lyrics. I'm going to give you the real deal. So uh, hopefully you're above 18, and, and uh, you know, you're ready for a non-conservative little ditty here. It's called Michelangelo. It's about abstinence and, and, and all the great works of art and all the wonderful pieces of literature and all that magnificent history that has come about because of a, a certain dilemma. It goes like this. Well, Michelangelo, he had himself a one-man show. He had statues with such feeling. He had the Sistine Chapel ceiling. And all the people from the Kokomo they had to see his one-man show. They said, oh, Michael, we can't believe what we have seen. Oh, tell us, what does it mean? He said, it's just what I do when I can't get no pussy. It's just what I do when I can't get no pussy. It's just what I do when I can't get no pussy. And I don't get no pussy at all. Well, William Shakespeare sat at home, writing himself a brand new poem. He had a few more sonnets that he wanted to write, and three more plays he would finish that night. He said, I'll call this one Hamlet, and this one Macbeth. This one Othello, and then he took a deep breath. That's when Francis Bacon did appear and say, tell me, man. Where do you get all your ideas? He said, it's just what I do when I can't get no pussy. It's just what I do when I can't get no pussy. It's just what I do when I can't get no pussy. And I don't get no pussy at all. Well, you all remember Attila the Hun. Don't think that he thought the war was fun. The weather the battle was lost or won. He just stared at the bodies that were rotting in the sun and say it's just what I do when I can't get no pussy. It's just what I do when I can't get no pussy. It's just what I do when I can't get no pussy. And I don't get no pussy at all. Thank you, you're too kind. Let's see, more debauchery or should we clean things up a bit? More debauchery. Yeah, I like this audience already. Here we go. Some more debauchery for you. We need the horn section on this one, Joy. His lips will be dying, he said. This one is to kill your lips here. Bamboozled by love. Lord, the shit done hit the fan. 
real compared to what? Jump 
the tree, bump the bump, skip the rope, bump the bump, look at my key, oh and now we do, all together now, 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 all together now. Thank you. It looks like the Dreamscape divers are getting ready to play up here, so I'm going to turn it over to them, all right? Hey, thank you so much. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you so much. It's sincere. Uh, my apologies for the, the foul language and the explicit, explicit expletives that I was dropping. If I offended any of you people, I'm so sorry. Uh, please do not be offended. Uh, it, it, it's only language. It's only language. It shouldn't hurt you.